Good afternoon, this is Ray with OP Noobs, PC Gaming for PC Gamers. I'm here with Simon Bennett, Studio Director at Roll7. Simon, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much, very good to be here. I understand that we'll be reviewing Laser League here. You'll be telling us a little bit about the development of this game. How long has it been in development? So, uh, Laser League first came into development as a prototype called Ultra Neon Tactics back in 2013. We tweaked it while we were working on Oli Oli, Oli Oli 2 and Not a Hero. Uh, we've been playing about with the mechanics. You can hear lots of noise from the uh, game. The Sounds like they're having a good time. Having a good time. It's positive. Oh! oh. Um, yes. Uh, and we've been proper development now for about a year. We are still pre-alpha, so the game is still very early. Um, but yeah, we are a year fully into development. We've got a fantastic team on board. Uh, and yeah, this is, this is where we are now. And how big is that team? The team, we, we scaled up from four of us to 20. Yeah, so I became a recruitment consultant for about eight months. You're going through a lot of emails, hiring a lot of people. Absolutely. If you ever need staff for your video games company, come to me. Call Simon Bennett for staffing for gaming. Absolutely. It looks like this has a big potential for the competitive esports scene. All right. Do you know what? Uh, possibly. I guess for us, the main thing is, is we made a video game that we want to play. This is a video game that we want to play at, like, at home, on our couch, with our friends. People can pick it up. It's super easy to pick up. These guys are literally just, just turned up. But the depth in the game uh, does allow for that more competitive element. And shouting. There's a lot of shouting when you play this game. So couch co-op, but also online multiplayer. Absolutely. Online multiplayer, whole lot of unlocks. we got um, full matchmaking. Um, but the really, the, the most important thing, I guess, about this game is anyone can pick this up and play it. It's, it's about a three-minute um, stage from understanding the core mechanics to being able to, to, to basically compete properly with anyone. Was it always three minutes? Did you just have a great idea and it worked out? How did you get it so low? Because the initial kind of acquisition period for gamers is make or break. If they don't get it, then they'll leave the game. I think that was the thing. Like We had a very simple toy that was just lines and dots on a screen with our prototype. Uh, and that's really, that's, really where it, that's really where it came from. And, and, and what we liked about it was that unlike Oli Oli, which has quite a tough control system, it allowed anyone, non-gamers and gamers, to all pick up the core mechanics. It's like Pong. Like you, everyone knows Pong, right? It's like Snake and Pong at the base of it. But when you get into player classes, power-ups, um, modifying classes, and different rotations of patterns within the stadiums and all of the depth, that's where we start getting super competitive. Right. Endless possibility. Absolutely. And that's the thing. What, we, what we're realizing is the more we develop this game, the more possibilities we see. It's about combining player classes for different maps. It's about going in with a different strategy to take, take down the opposition. Um, and we're heading into early access summer this year because we want our athletes, our players, to help us refine the playbook, get us to a stage where we can actually have what we think is the perfect future sport. Some balancing. Absolutely, both balancing and also Helping us make more moments like are going on behind me. What what is it about this game that makes you excited? We want to ask those players. We want their input on like different ways that we can tweak our classes, our modifiers, ideas for power ups. We're open. So early access to summer 2017. Absolutely, man. Like not long. And how long do you plan on staying in early access? Because it looks like you're 90. You're at the 90 yard line here. We're still a way off, so we're pre-alpha still. Uh, we still got quite a few months to go, um, but we're going to go into early access for as long as it takes us to get to the, that perfect amount. It really depends how well it goes in early access, but when you pick it up in early access, it's going to be a polished product. It's not going to be broken, um, but that, it's that opportunity that we have to work with our player base to turn it in from, from something that's good into something that's absolutely perfect. I think that's the right way to do early access. It's a very uh, highly discussed uh, conversation in the gaming industry right now. This has been Ray Rise with OP Noobs, speaking with Simon Bennett, studio director at Roll7. The game looks great. We'd love to follow up at early access and at a later point. Most important thing, if you're going to do anything today, you're going to go and sign up for the beta on LazerLeagueGame.com. 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 Sign up for the beta or beta. Thank you. <laughs>